Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I will be reacting to So My DNA Test Results Came In by Ms. Kiff. Now this is my first video on the new channel, and who better to react to for the first video on the new channel than Ms. Kiff? For anyone not familiar with Ms. Kiff, I'm guessing that you don't really watch streamers. I'm actually pretty into the whole Twitch thing. I've considered doing live streams of genealogy. It's just a matter of finding time for me with, you know, solving crimes for my full-time job and then doing the YouTube stuff and then volunteering and all of that. But anyway, I really don't know much about Ms. Kiff's background, his ancestry. I know he's Caucasian. That's about all I really know. I actually don't think I know his actual name. Matthew Renato. That kind of sounds like an Italian name, so I, I mean, maybe he's got Italian ancestry, I don't know, but we always hope with these videos that they actually tell us the ancestry. So I'm not gonna say anything else, but before we do jump into the video, please be sure to give this a like. Also be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. With all that fun stuff said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I've been waiting this day for about 15 days now. When I sent in my lab results, and I gave them my saliva. I'm really nervous. This day actually will change my life forever. It just will. I will forever know what I am, what I am supposed to be. I do not think I'm 100% white. I don't think that's how it is. I, I think we all can agree. I'm definitely not French. Got anything close to black? Listen, I'm- Definitely not French is a pretty strong thing to say when you have European ancestry especially because how they read these things. So it's possible if he doesn't have actual French ancestry, it's still possible he may get French readings It's because these things aren't perfect. But it's also possible, you know, 200 years back, he had French ancestry and he just doesn't even know it. I'm Sicilian. I know that for a fact. I'm Sicilian. I've been told my whole life I'm Sicilian. Ooh, if he's Sicilian too, there's a lot of French connection to Sicilian. So, you know, there's also a Spanish connection to Sicilian. And apparently it's Sicilian and there's something with it where like you could be like 4% or something like that. Um, I, there's something with that as well. I don't really know. Pretty much what I'm doing here, chat, is I'm trying to find out what I am so I can have the pass for that. Does that make sense? If you want to learn the real pass, Ms. Kiff, if you want someone to like dive into your actual ancestry, hit me up and be on my YouTuber Family Tree series. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I hope a whole bunch of people who like Ms. Kiff will actually try to get him to watch this reaction. I'd love that to happen. I mean, it'd blow up my channel. That'd be pretty awesome. But anyway, if you actually want to learn it, look at what I've done for Mr. Beat and Matt Baker from Useful Charts and the Sam Arano series, all three from different backgrounds. And I did a lot of work tracing their stuff and actually getting the stories. So not just like, oh, you're Italian, oh, you're this. It's more like your second great grandfather was born here and did this and lived his life like this. And here's a crazy story about how he was a war veteran or something, you know, here's how they immigrated. Literally learning your family story, not just kind of a vague picture. But let, let's continue. Like if I'm like more Jewish than I thought I was, then that's great. You know, oh, he I can not. If he's Jewish, that's even better. Jewish ancestry is my specialty. I can finally be more like Rich Campbell. And everyone wants to be more like Rich Campbell. I could go for some Swede. I think there's something about me. Like, I don't look like your typical white guy. Can I? Can we agree with that? I don't look typical. I have a little pizzazz. He looks like a lot of Italians I know. In fact, he kind of looks like the bassist from one of my bands. Shout out to Donnie Sill. Uh, but he kind of has that same look. Kind, kind of. I don't know. I'm... Probably gonna overlay some footage of uh, of my band over this so you can see what Donnie looks like. But I think Donnie's Italian and Spanish. Actually, I'm not sure now. <laughs> But I know he's got some Italian in him. All right, I don't think this leaks anything, so I'm gonna show it. We are here. Does anyone know where to go right here? Wait, onset Alzheimer's? Wait, 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 wait. Ancestry report. Yeah, go to ancestry report on the left. I'll save this for later. I really hope this is not an Irish welcome to me. DNA relatives or ancestry report? Ancestry, here it is. This is it. Am I? I hope he sees DNA relatives too. I hope he shows that I'm on white. This. Southern European, 95% Italian, 95% no. I'm British! No! 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 And I'm Jewish! Oh, the two. Point what no. percent though? I'm Jewish! 
I'm Jewish. I thought he thought he was Jewish. I didn't know that was going to be like a big, like, <laughs> detracting thing. I'm Jewish. Country. 0.6%. That is such a trace result. Say it, it's more of does he have a Jewish ancestor? And if he does, it's way back there. Third, fourth, fifth great grandparent, maybe even further. But more than likely at 0.6%, that's probably a misread. And then he has the 3.3% British and Irish, which 3.3%, that means that you're looking at about a third great grandparent could be a second could be a fourth great grandparent i go over this all the time in the videos but you expect 25 percent from a grandparent 12.5 percent from a great grandparent 6.25 percent from a great great grandparent and then 3.175 or whatever it is i always can't think of it in my head but it's about that much. It's never always perfect in recombination. If he were to do a family tree, if he were to have someone build out his family tree, if you were looking at his second and third great grandparents, that's where he's most likely going to find this Irish ancestor, which is probably likely if he does come from American ancestry that's been in the country for like 200 years or so. It could make sense. If he has a lot of Italian ancestry, they might have come here in the, you know, mid to late 19th century. And then that could be around the same time that that Irish ancestor came in and it's just the one Irish ancestor and then mostly Italian. But let's continue. Probably stuck. I'm so white. I'm so white. Italian 95%. Highly likely match. Do I have to redo this test? No. No way, man. Camp 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 campania northwestern europeans are represented by people far as far west as ireland i'm british and irish the two things i didn't maybe want to be. british irish ish i mean more than likely irish because they were pinpointing uh county mayo and those regions when they like pinpoint it more specifically they're using the genetic matches basically you know he has a whole bunch of dna matches those dna relatives where they listed for ancestral locations those places in ireland so more than likely if he has a lot of relatives coming from those places he probably has ancestry from that place as well can i re-roll i'm irish British and Irish. Yeah, so the map Are is... Are you fucking kidding me? So the map is showing those areas where it's most connected to his DNA. Basically, a lot of people where they have ancestry in those areas that are his DNA relatives, that's why that's coming up. <laughs> There's a bunch of them that have that listed as their ancestral locations. I'm British and Irish. I'm gonna throw up. And Jewish. I'm gonna get bullied so hard. And I'm 95% Italian, but I'm a little bit Jewish. Mm, yeah. That looks delicious. Point Wait, so do I, do I have the pass to, to say that I'm a Jew? No, 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 not at all. I mean, for one, I mean, depending on who you talk to, even if you have Jewish ancestry, you may still not be considered a Jew, um, at least halakhically. I don't even know if I said that right. At least religiously, because it's supposed to be from the mother who's supposed to be Jewish, and it's like a whole thing. Your mom is Jewish is yes, miss. Okay, that's great. What's an Azanaki Jew? A Ash, Ash Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi Jews? What, was, what the hell was my mother? What did she do? Ashkenazi Jews, Jews of the German lands, also known as Ashkenazi Jews, or by the Hebrew plural suffix, Ashkenazism. The traditional diaspora <laughs> language of Ashkenazim. 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 Ashkenazi Jews is Yiddish. French and German, 0%. Scandinavian, 6% Jew. 0. 0.6. 0.6%. Wait a minute. Unassigned. There is a wide range of human diversity in the world, and sometimes our algorithm is unable to match a region of your DNA to a specific population. Oh, okay. So maybe where I'm from, they didn't get the, the the juice from yet. So that way, there's always hope, chat. I don't really know what I am. I could be an alien. Cool. I'm not Iraqi. I'm not Armenian. Stop the presses, ladies and gentlemen. 0.1%. It's so trace that it's like totally unreliable. Roman? Stop the fucking presses, ladies and gentlemen. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? It's time to call. It, what did I tell you? 
I'm 0.1% Nigerian. What did I tell you? <laughs> Honestly, once they do their next update, I bet that a lot of these point whatever percentages are going to go away. Anyone who's done a DNA test over the past few years and have seen some of these updates know exactly what I'm talking about because these exciting little point percentages, they then update their, their algorithms with all of the new studies and those little things will usually go away. Sometimes they might get bigger and, you know, maybe he really does have like, you know, some fifth or sixth grade grandparent that was fully African or something, but it's really, really, really doubtful. Holy shit. Wait, I'm 0.3% Persian? What do you see that? Iranian, Caucasian, and Mesopotamian. So I'm pretty much just fucking Italian, let's be real. Uh, I'm Italian and Nigerian. That's what I'm gonna go as from now on. Okay, so what have we learned today? I'm Jewish and Nigerian. I'm also, I have the potential to be a power athlete, but instead I'm here entertaining dumbasses on Twitch, which, what else does that mean? It also means I can't read. I'm Italian, we already knew that. We did hear some bad news. I am British, which fucking sucks. And I'm also, what's the one I, I'm Irish. Oh, that's so bad. You have zero variance associated with having difficulty discarding rarely used possessions. True, I'm willing to throw out anything. Experiencing more itchy mosquito bites. Why does that matter? Genuinely not feeling angry when hungry. No, I'm pissed. Chat with Neanderthal, that's kind of fun. All right, well, <laughs> that's a decent video. I think pretty much the results are he's mostly Italian coming from Sicily and Campania and then three point whatever percent Irish. It's probably coming from Ireland and not, you know, Britain. And sure, he might have some of that Jewish ancestry that, you know, would be really, really distant. But as a genealogist, I will say that, you know, getting readings like this aren't really necessarily boring because... It is helpful in tracing out the family history and knowing your actual family history is, I think, the better part. Because kind of like this, it's like, you know, it's just a generic like, oh, Italian, Irish, British, whatever. Instead, learning the actual names and where they came from and what they did and what they experienced is way cooler. So, you know, hopefully Miss Kiff will hit me up and have me look into his family tree and, uh, you know, maybe be part of YouTuber Family Tree series. So if you want that, be sure to suggest that he checks out this video and joins the series and is a part of it. And if Miss Kiff does ever decide to do an update video on his results, if they update the results, which they definitely will in the future, I will be curious to see, will those small 0.1s and 0.3% actually stay around or will they disappear and just kind of get lumped in with some other stuff? Maybe some of those smaller trace percentages actually add up to represent something else. So, you know, we saw 0.3% and 0.1% and then the 0.6% Jewish. And, you know, maybe they actually all add up to something completely different that, you know, maybe like Mizrahi Jewish sort of thing, or, you know, Ottoman Empire family ancestry or something along those lines, just cause you know, it's just a guessing game with these things. And for a genealogist, when you get these results, it's kind of a guide of as you're building out the family tree and looking for things, when you find little hints of where you might want to start looking, maybe these will guide you in showing, you know, oh, well, we're finding some sort of connection actually out to Istanbul. And maybe that makes sense with these point small percentages. And for anyone that actually wants to see what can be accomplished by tracing the family tree and what stories you can find, be sure to check out this video right here where I look into Mr. Beat's family tree and discover some of his American ancestry tracing back to the American Revolution. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. That really does help me out. And if you'd like to subscribe, just click right about here. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.